Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. In our Halloween special, we're going to be previewing some of Queen Anne's County's most scariest warrants. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Halloween is just about here, and some people decorate with scary things, including cobwebs and skulls. Our next fugitive has already decorated with his own tattoos. John Henry Gant is wanted on five warrants after he failed to appear for an arraignment in circuit court on October 8th. Some of Gant's charges include two counts of possession of a controlled dangerous substance, possession of a controlled dangerous substance paraphernalia, driving without a license several times, nine counts of theft, theft scheme, stealing a credit card, and an assault in the second degree. Gant can easily be identified by his tats. His neck is covered, a teardrop on his left cheek near his eye, and a skull and crossbones on his right cheek. He's six foot two inches tall, weighs 175 pounds. At the time, he wears glasses and may still have a ponytail. He's from Graysonville, but at this time, we're unsure where he may be. Grant has worked in the home improvement business as well as a marine mechanic and also, obviously, as a tattoo artist. What better could it be than to profile some of our scariest, most wanted, but to have them have a birthday on October 31st? And I'll tell you, you couldn't get a better birthday present than to have your tip come in and have these two next fugitives served with arrest warrants. Roger Wayne Ivins was convicted of theft in 1991 and sentenced to 30 months in jail. He was ordered to pay restitution of nearly $6,000. Ivins returned to Bedford, Virginia, and since November of 1991, he hasn't been heard from. He never made any payments or met any of his conditions of his probation. Ivins is 45 years old, and now for over 20 years, Ivins thinks that he's tricked the court. So do me a favor, help me get a treat, and let's bring this guy in. The other birthday boy is James Garfield DeShields. He's from Camden, New Jersey. He was charged with driving on a suspended license in December of 2010, and then prayed a jury trial, which was set for July of 2012. When he failed to show, a no bail warrant was issued. The Shields is an African-American male, 44 years old, 6 foot 2, 185 pounds. There's still time for him to come spend his birthday with us here at Queen Anne's County. On October 6, 2013, at the Jetty restaurant in the Kenton Arrows area, Javier Colin Algren was dancing with a female and allegedly began to grab her inappropriately. The female's brother saw this occurring and stepped in to her defense. An argument started, which then escalated to Algren striking the female's brother several times in the head with a beer bottle. Algren and friends fled the scene, but not before someone could get the tag number. Deputies were able to then get the picture of the owner of the vehicle who was identified by witnesses as the assailant. Now wanted for assault first and second degree and reckless endangerment, Algren is a Hispanic male, 32 years old, and is listed as 5'8", 180 pounds. Motor vehicle records indicate Algren's address as Cypress Road in Millington. If you have any information on the whereabouts of this suspect, you're urged to contact us as soon as possible. And remember, you can always send us an anonymous tip or email. In May of this year, the district court issued an arrest warrant for Boon Mi Bonai, charging her with non-support of a minor child. Boon Mi is a 43-year-old Asian female. She's five foot one inches tall and 128 pounds. The warrant lists her address as an apartment on Brunswick Road in Essex, Maryland. However, investigation shows she may be in the Middle River area. If you have any information on Bonai, you're urged to contact local authorities. Okay, I need some of our Ghostbusters to give me a call. This is one ghost from the past that we need brought to the present. If you know where Debbie Rigby is now, let me know. She's five foot three inches tall, 140 pounds, 54 year old female, and has also used aliases. Debbie Ann Buck and Debbie Ann Azua. Let's get this ghost back to the present. As always, I want to take this time to thank all of our viewers out there on Queen Anne's County TV, especially our Queen Anne's County commissioners and everyone out there for making this the most successful show out there. But it wouldn't be possible without our viewers out there who bring us all of these tips. Again, let's take some of these ghosts and get them busted. If you have any information about these wanted people, for unsolved cases, please contact the Queen's County Sheriff's Office at 
888-450-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.